Hi, my name is Machine Head. Um, I've been using Kovac since about September now, and AIM trainers uh, since a lot before then. Um, I've been seeing a lot of questions on the subreddit of which scenarios I should play and how I should practice. Um, so I'm just going to say that these scenarios in the front page are great, but I don't think their intended purpose of the game was to only play these. Um, I think the intended purpose was to take these and make scenarios that relate to your weaknesses and the games that you are playing. So that's what I'm going to go over today. Um, that's uh, really the feature that sets this game apart from others is just the ability to edit these courses so um, in depth. Um, so yes, I'm going to go start with Ascended Tracking. So we can go here and we're going to go and make a copy of it to our local file or your hard drive, whatever. We're going to go find it. We can use the nice uh, search feature. And here it is. We're going to go and edit it. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to unpack. And if you don't know what that means, uh, it's recommended you click yes. I, I don't even know if Kovac knows what that means. <laughs> so we're going to go and click yes. So now we're in the editor or uh, the profile manager, I guess. Um, so we have all these options up here. The only ones we're going to worry about right now are character and weapon. Um, that's really the only things I'm going to change today. Um, the dodge profiles are, are uh, still very good on their own. We don't have to mess with those too much. So I'm going to go and start the first thing, which is the time limit. So I'm going to change it to 60. Um, that's just a personal preference. I can't really get through the full 90 minute or 90 seconds without my wrist catching fire. So I just prefer a 60 second, uh, I guess you could call it a rep, right? So um, next I'm gonna go and, so let's say uh, you wanna make this uh, more relatable to a game like Fortnite. Um, it's gonna be what I'm gonna be relating most of this to. That's just the game of, uh, that I have to play. So let's say you want to practice flicking and tracking at the same time. Um, this is very common when using your pump and going and switching to another weapon like an AR or an SMG. Um, there's always like a follow-up tracking um, weapon that you're going to use. So we're going to go to our character and we're going to add a flicking weapon. So how do we know which one is me? Um, we want to change our character. So if we look here on both sides, we can see that there is a bot team and a player team. This side too, this side, it's gonna, has a different name, but it's still the same thing. So ascended tracking, that's me. So we're gonna go and click on that. And we're gonna go to weapons. They've changed the name of the weapon. And I was just uh, a little bit confused. Okay. So we're gonna go and look for railgun. This is just an old quake weapon, hit scan, um, precise flick weapon. So we're going to save that and we're going to go into the weapon over here and find the railgun and we're going to change the settings. My settings are already like preset because I've already edited this weapon slightly. Um, but I want to set it so it does half the damage of the target that I'm shooting at. And by default, um, on a set of tracking, that's 500 health. So I want to do it to two or set it to 250. And then the time in between shots, I like to change to um, 0.5. Um, I just find it makes it um, smoother when switching between weapons because Every time you shoot this, you have to wait um, for this um, time in between shots before you can switch weapons. So now I'm only gonna have to wait half a second before I switch weapons. And that's gonna make, um, that's gonna be very apparent when we start messing with time scale and slowing it down. It's gonna take forever if we don't change this now. So let's just save that. Um, then we're gonna go and make sure we save as. Um, sometimes if you go and test it before you save as, it can um, put you into, it, it'll repack everything. So I like to save this as uh, something uh, memorable. So there we go. Let's, we're gonna have to make sure we upload this on the workshop after. Um, we're gonna unpack it again. Cause I don't know what that means. Um, so there, now we can play it and test it. And here we go. So we have a railgun. Um, I have this set to my Fort Bite or Fort Knight keybinds <laughs> just for muscle memory in general. So now we can um, fail at a flick shot, whatever. Um, 
switch to tracking right after. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, it's not gonna be ranked, you're not gonna be on any scoreboards, but who cares about scoreboards when you're trying to improve yourself, right? So, um, next thing I wanna go over to, that, that was way too easy, uh, despite me missing shots. Um, so this was originally a quake exercise. So headshots are not rewarded. So I wanna relate this to Fortnite. So I want headshots to be rewarded. So now we're gonna to go to the other profile, which is the bot. We're gonna to go to long strafer. I'm gonna to go to bounding boxes. And we're gonna change, first of all, we have to add it so it has a head. I'm gonna change that to 15. I want to make this very precise. And then I don't wanna be rewarded for, uh, for body shots at all. So we're just gonna make this one. He's gonna have um, the skinniest supermodel body he's ever dreamed of. <laughs> and then I like to change the height to 200. It just, it just feels, uh, it just looks better. Like, um, at least uh, when we're relating this to Fortnite, I just find that that um, is more similar. Let me save that. And then, so we have an issue here. This weapon, this awesome weapon, um, I guess we're using this now. He's added a new, uh, a new weapon. ADS, okay, so yeah, that's that's version three, it's ADS -able. that's the only difference. So, um, this weapon rewards um, staying on the center of a target, or on the target, I should say, because the target for this scenario is um, designed around this weapon. So you stay on the center target, this has a spread to it, and basically it's going to land more of the spread shots the more center you are. There's probably something more to it, um, the other thing is, is if you're slightly off target, it's still, you're still going to be rewarded a bit for it. Um, I feel like, I, and I don't want that feedback of being rewarded for being off target. So we're going to go back to our character again, and we're going to go to weapons. We're going to change this for our good old vanilla LG, another quake weapon, save that. And of course we got to go back and we got to change, um, our settings for this weapon. So damage per shot, I have to lower it. And that is because I'm changing the time in between shots to 0 0.02. I want this a lot faster because if I'm off target for a split second, I want that I want more feedback in my accuracy. Let's say if I had this at a much uh, um, slower fire rate, um, if I'm off target for a second, a bullet may not fire um, during that time. So, and then I would um, not be punished for that in my accuracy score after. So, um, 0, or 0 0.02 and three damage per shot. Um, I want to change the damage down because if I left it the same, then I would just be melting targets instantly. And I don't want that. I want to track a target for a bit of that time. I'm going to save that. And then we're going to save this again. Always save before you test. And we're going to play it. And here we go. Here are, here's our new creation. Now this is, this is difficult as hell. I'm not being successful at all in hitting these, so. So, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna edit this. So, I like the precision and the size of the head, but they're too fast right now. Um, I just can't physically track that with my eyes, so I'm going to change the time scale. This is probably one of the best features um, in, in the game. Um, I don't see any other aim trainers with this feature and it is just awesome. So time scale. So this is one time scale that's normal. Um, if you click the, you can be reminded here. Um, so I'm going to go and turn this to 0 0.2. Let me save that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to play it. All right, so now I can still fail just as well, but not, now I can be very precise with my tracking. I'm really focused on what the target's doing. Um, also do my flick shots, right? Uh, this is what I was saying about the, the fire rate. See, it's s slowed much further down just because the time scale is messing with that now. So another problem is we have this timer up at the top and that's just going to go on forever just because the time scale is uh, now uh, multiplying that. Or I guess, uh, yeah, I guess it's multiplying that. So we're going to cancel that. We're going to go back into edit. It's very simple. 
We're going to unpack the scenario because I don't know what that means. I'm going to go back to challenge and up here we have it set to 60, but because the time scale is now modifying the time, it's going to be um, almost twice that. So we're going to go and change this to 12. And if you want to know this, the relative um, time limit for the time scale, all you do is this times your desired number, which is 60. And now I get 12. There we go. We save that. And now this is going to be 60 seconds long. And oh, did I go back and edit? I did. So that's good because the next thing I want to show, I want to go over here and I want to change it so there's, that there's less bots on the screen at once. Sorry, don't do this. This is temporary. This won't be saved. You have to do it over here so it, it will be saved. So I'm going to change this. So I only want to see one bot at a time. I don't want to be distracted and I also want to improve my uh, target acquisition. So we're going to do that and then um, what I wanted to explain is we can start now doing progressive training and uh, pro progressive difficulty training. So every day or every time you reach a certain goal, we can go here and we can add um, 0 0.01 onto that. And then if we improve again, we can keep adjusting this every day to higher and higher numbers until we eventually reach back up to the normal time scale. And then if we're still not at our desired level, then we can go and repeat this process. And this is just gonna allow you to see every second of what's going on and every second of how you can track. By the time the process is done, you will be much more precise. Um, and I really wanna pin that on precision. If you're gonna slow the time scale down, make the target smaller so you can work on that precision. Um, I don't wanna make my aim sloppy. Um, so I started to get a bit carried away with that. Um, I'm just gonna end this here. Um, that's all I really wanted to show. Um, I also just want to um, encourage everybody to start making their own courses that focus on their weaknesses. You know, and like say, if you can't track to the left side, go and figure out how to make your bot um, move to the left side more so you can really work on those weaknesses or vertical tracking, right? If you want to work on your vertical tracking, there's maps for that. And then you can even increase precision furthermore with that. Um, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment or you can also message me on reddit i uh, do coaching on the side as a hobby so don't be afraid to ask questions i'm always happy to help um yeah thanks